Time for us to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this one about one of the mock drafts from Mary Kay Cabot. Hey, what's up, Dave? Shouting you out for always looking presentable on camera, button up, blazer, and pocket square. Extremely fresh. This voicemail is in reference to Mary Kay Cabot's mock draft when she had the Browns selecting Malik Willis, the quarterback, at our number 13th pick. I love the pick. We have to remember Nowadays, quarterbacks are always overdrafted based on potential. We're not drafting him necessarily to come in and be the day one starter, but we are drafting him based on his developmental potential and possibly being able to push Baker Mayfield if he's ready to be our starter. We can always find receivers in later rounds. And I wanted to bring up the point about the Patriots. If you remember, the Patriots, their number one receivers were tight ends, and they had many successful years, successful winning years, featuring tight ends as their number one receivers. I believe the Browns are built the same way. We have Najoku. We have Hooper. We have Bryant. Three very capable tight ends that we can feature as our number one receivers if we choose to draft receivers who may need time to develop. Think about this. How often is a receiver drafted, comes in, and makes an immediate impact? That guy is an immediate star. He's everything that we need to help us get over the top. Hey, I hope you featured my voicemail. Thanks again. All right. A uh, lot to unpack there. We appreciate all of the voicemails. And, Tim, when you look at it um, – I get where he's going with the tight ends. Again, I, the Browns' offensive passing scheme just didn't seem um, – it didn't seem to create the opportunities for the receivers. I guess that's the, the best way I can put it when I talk about throwing to the receivers and, and the Browns' passing game. Yeah, I mean, we also have to remember that those New England Patriots had Rob Gronkowski as one of their tight ends for forever, and I mean – I've used the term lucky mismatch to describe Traylon Burks of from Arkansas, the receiver. Rob Gronkowski is the original walking mismatch because nobody was has ever been able to cover him. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer for a reason. When you look at that success, and you always have to you have to always have the caveat everything New England did for 19 years and basically say, yeah, Tom Brady basically did everything because I mean, it's Tom Brady. He's the best quarterback to ever play the game. But when it comes to Malik Willis, I've said that. If you're going to take a quarterback at 13, if you're the Browns, it's got to be either him or Kenny Pickett. I don't think anybody else should really be in consideration because I think those two have the best potential in this draft. And if you're drafting Malik Willis, number one, I don't think he could play him this season. You got to let him sit. You got to let him learn a pro system. You got to let him, you know, work on certain tools that he needs to because, he, I mean, he's raw and he's coming from the school in Liberty. There's a group of five school. He's not used to playing against top-notch talent or with elite talent as well. I mean, there's that. There's both caveats going there when it comes to Malik, Malik Wilson too. If you're drafting him, you got to turn right around and draft some receivers, possibly in the second, as early as the second round, and in the third round where you have two third-round picks. This good news is this is a drafted receiver that's very deep. The Browns can get some very good receivers in day two if they choose not to get one in day one for whatever reason. Say that pick is traded for a good starting quarterback or they use that on a defensive end or even another quarterback. They have the ability to use those other picks at receiver, but you got to be able to will be willing to spend those early picks to get some pass catchers and get some dynamic players because that's the way the NFL is trended and the way, what we saw in the playoffs, those guys aren't just, those aren't just luxuries. They're necessities for success. You have to have a guy who's going to take, be a problem for defenses down the field. You simply need to have that. Yeah, and, and right now the Browns really don't. Um, <clears throat> I am intrigued with uh, Malik Willis. Kenny Pickett, not so much. If Willis was there at 13, that would be a, a very interesting decision for um, uh, for Andrew Berry. I, I think he's going to go much earlier than that just because um, quarterbacks are tended to be overdrafted. All right.